But I had a lot of happy years playing with the band, and I was the mascot of the band. I was the first mascot to be of Old Nuno Brass Band when that was in 1939. We got a new set of uniforms, scarlet colored. They were the, the style of the gold string guards. And I used to feel like a little guard walking in front of the band, leading it around the town and so forth. And uh, I played under a few conductors during that period. Uh, Mr. George Evan. Uh, there was also another gentleman. He came from Dalton, chap called Freddie Hill. And then George Evan took the band back again. And then after George, it was then Mr. Ernie Taylor. He was uh, he used to be a Salvationist. And then he came along to the Old Mill band. And then we on about going contesting, so he got my father to uh, ask Mr. Bob Latimer Sr. if he would take the band to a contest. And he said, yes, he would. We went to Fleet of Moor. That's our first contest. And that was the first contest the band had done for over 40 years. And prior to that, in the t turn of the century, the band attended 40 contests and came away with 39 prizes. But um, we unfortunately, we didn't come back from Plato Moore with any prize. But um, anyhow, Mr. Latimer Sr., he then got young Bob, uh, his son, to take the band over, which he did, and then he took us to Bellevue contest uh, there was 29 bands taking part that day, and uh, we came away with the primates. It was a big achievement for the band, and also for the town. Anyhow, we decided then to come back to England, so on my return to England, I asked one or two of the band chaps went to band practice and they said, oh, there is no band aid. It had uh, folded up about 18 months before. Uh, so I made a few inquiries around and I seen Bill Harrison. Bill was the treasurer and Bill had kept the bank, the band bank book open, account open, and we, they, they didn't lose the name title royal. Uh, had he closed the account, the name Royal and no one would have gone. So it's been a shame. Mm -hmm. So I went round and contacted the players I knew. Anyhow, I got a few players, but I could only lo locate nine instruments. All the other sort of missile, whatever. So anyhow, I started it off, and I asked. Mr. George Dixon Sr., would he take the band? And he said, yes, if you get the players and sort things out, and which I did. I located where the music was. And Tommy John done it in his wash house, <laughs> stuck away <laughs> in old boxes. So I retrieved them and I took them all and I took them in the lounge. I sorted the music out after that few nights of telling off from the wife when you're going to get this rubbish out of here. 